Welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss how we can monitor user activity or how we can perform process accounting on a system running Red Hat or CentOS. This whole procedure which we are going to discuss will work whether you are running with uh, Red Hat or CentOS version 5 or 6 or the latest one 7. Only two commands are different which are related to the way we enable service in that particular OS release. So to begin with uh, friends uh, we are going to discuss on uh, PSACCT application or utility. This particular utility is open source and uh, once this utility is enabled it runs in background and keep track of each user activity on your system. So two scenarios when you need this utility when you want to audit the commands executed by a user on your system. Second scenario when you want to know how much system resources are getting used by process or services running by a user or by all user on your system that's for your process accounting purpose. Couple of useful features which uh, this utility PSACC deliver those are uh, last when you want to check from where user was last connected then SA which summarize accounting information on each process then last com followed by username it displays all processes being executed by a specified user if you want to do process accounting you want to capture all processes running on system in a dump file you can use ACCT on followed by dump file name dump file is the file where you will save all information when you want to read that file uh, you need to use dump dash ACCT utility because uh, the dump file data is not in human readable format you want to decode it using uh, this particular utility last but not least you can use uh, AC utility or command uh, that tells since how long a user connected on the system since the last log rotation was performed so friends uh, that's the theoretical part. Uh, let's begin with the technical session now. Okay. To begin technically, first thing we have to verify whether we got uh, accounting package installed or not. As I said, package name is PSACCT. If you see right now, it is not installed. I'm going to use yum install minus y. I'm saying yes because I have to say yes to install PSACCT. This system is connected to internet, so it will download package from. Uh, EM repository. In case uh, you are not connected to net, you can uh, use other methods like local install using DVD or ISO image, or you can create your own uh, local EM server. Okay, friends, so package is installed. Let's scroll check whether it got installed or not. So, this package is installed. So, as I said, uh, we have to enable the service first. In Red Hat 6, you have to use service. Uh, let me type. I'm just commenting if to enable you need to run command PSACCT start this will start the service but here in my setup I am on uh, CentOS 7 if you see that's uh, enterprise Linux 7 so I need to use systemctl command to do so systemctl first I am enabling service like the way if you are running on um, Red Hat 6, you will use uh, check config to enable service. But uh, here I am using enable uh, by utility system CTL. So PSACCT George service, this is the service name. So if you can see uh, this service is enabled, it created a sim link. So this service will start whenever the system boots. So next thing I have to start the service because this is not started yet. So service is started. Let's verify status using status switch here. If you see uh, service is enabled and active now and this is the accounting file friends uh, where default data will be written. Okay. So first thing as we talked last command I'm just doing head on last 10 entries. If you see this command tells like this is the user from where user was connected this is the IP so 
as a root user I was connected from this particular system on this server and this was the terminal allocated to me. So, this is about all user on this system only I am logging in as root, but this will give you information about all users who got connected uh, on your system. So, friends uh, that is very handy command. Next thing which we are going to discuss uh, that uh, SA command. Okay, let me show you, let me clear my screen for next command SA. So, when you run it without any option, it tells you information <coughs> sorry uh, about all running processes. So, if I take example of uh, this one, this particular. So, first bit is uh, your PID, process ID, RE mean, the real time as per wall clock minutes, like this is CPU consumption real time and uh, next bit which is CP that is CPU time sum of CPU time for user and system on your system and this is the particular uh, 1k unit for CPU time average core usage on your system and this is a service which is using these resources. So, that is a one way if you want to check it uh, with particular user you can use user wise SAR minus U sorry not SAR SA minus U. So, if you see on screen uh, all the processes are being uh, executed by a root user because um, I have not created any other user. So, I am uh, running as root user if there are multiple users it will uh, give you segregated data. Okay, friends, uh, this is SAR SA utility, and uh, now let us jump to next utility which is last com. Let me clear my screen again. Last com. So, with this utility, I can check uh, and followed by username. So, this will tell as this particular user, as root user, what command I executed on this system. So, it gives me all details. So, these are the commands, friends. Uh, executed by me on this system and uh, it uh, gives all the information all timing when I run command and uh, when this command was run how much time it took what is the state. So, everything is there. Then next thing if you want to capture accounting in uh, process accounting in a file you can use ACCT on followed by file name enter. So, if you see this message turning on process accounting file is set to this particular file you can uh, choose a file or file system as you wish because this as a root user this command runs you can write to any file. So, that is up to you I am using default file which is created by PC sorry PS ACCT utility. So, friends uh, if let me check file type of this one because data is already getting written this is data file this is not text file. So, you cannot read it uh, usually let me show you example I am doing cat on this one if you see that is a junk character I cannot read if you want to read it you need to use dump dash acct then file name enter if you see this is the detailed information provided by this particular utility let me do head for you. If you see what is a process how much CPU it consumed, what is the memory this particular process consumed. So, it tells all detailed information. So, that is very handy uh, when you want to debug on your system how many processes were running at that particular time if you see it also provide timestamp. So, what processes cause system to go down, system to panic uh, due to excess load on system. So, all information you can capture with this file. So, only thing you have to use dump dash ACCT utility to read the data inside that file. Last but not least as I told AC. So, AC basically if you specify it without any argument let uh, let us press enter. So, I use this command without any argument and it will tell the total statics of connected time in hours based on the user login logout from uh, current WTMP file. So, from on this system uh, for 135 approximate 135 hours I use this system I logged on to this system logged out or use this system. So, that is the information. 
So friends, uh, that was a little bit about accounting. If you liked uh, my video, you can uh, hit like button or you can subscribe my channel. One thing I want to tell, uh, on a heavily loaded system, it's not recommended to keep uh, your accounting always enabled. Why I am saying that? Because accounting uh, captures all process information, all system activity and uh, the dump file becomes very huge size and it may fill your file system. You can do one thing if you want to enable it permanently, just set up log rotation uh, following uh, your uh, syslog uh, configuration. You can rotate the logs. That's another way friends. That's up to you if you want to keep it enabled. But what's my recommendation? You know, like your daily, let's say your system is getting heavy load around 10 a.m. or 10 p.m. in uh, night. So at that time, you can run your accounting on, which is uh, the way like uh, ACCT on followed by file name, var account PACT. So let's say now my system is heavily loaded. I can run this command. So accounting is enabled. When I, when I know like now my system load is less, so my system is back to normal from heavy load, then I can uh, move this file to any directory, compress it, and when required, I can uh, debug this file by using dump-acct utility to check at that particular time which process put extra load on my system. So thanks friends. If you like this video, just hit like button or subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, just leave a comment. Thanks a lot.